Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Zol, again, and this time I have the um, Figure Eye Standard Ultraman suit from the manga or the upcoming Netflix anime that's coming later next year. I didn't know you were Ultraman fans, Zul. I'm not. I did not grow up with Ultraman at all, and the manga was my initiation, initiation into the Ultraman world. Um, so how was the overall experience? Building this? Yep. Uh, pretty average. Um, there's nothing new. It, it's practically a high grade, but you're, the price range is about master grades. <laughs> yeah. So if you compare the height, actually, it's a little bit taller than the Star Wars model kits. I would uh, say they're, they're essentially one twelve scale figures. Uh, height wise, I think they're almost right. And this is the very cool LED gimmick that comes with the kit. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a bit more about this, though? Uh, the LED is actually pretty cool. There are essentially four settings. The, the first time you press it, you get a blue light. Second, you get a red. And then the following ones are the red and blue again, but they're on a timer. And if you're worried about uh, draining your batteries, don't worry. They'll uh, essentially just turn off after three minutes once you turn it on. I actually really like the LED unit, how it powers up the eyes. The eyes looks yeah. really mm -hmm. amazing here. And cool thing about that is uh, they give you reflective stickers that you can actually put in inside the head and parts of the neck so it can illuminate better in those dark places. Great. So actually, what comes in a box though when you get this kit? Um, you get a, a fair amount of accessories but again, um, this is the first edition box and it says right there, you get a limited poster. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get any more later on but here it is. Yeah, so I think if you want to get this kit, you better get it quick before mm -hmm. they run out of the special limited edition poster. Mm -hmm. I really like the poster. Yeah, unfortunately you cannot mimic that pose with the kit. <laughs> So, uh, as you can see here, actually, there's a lot of parts actually included with mm -hmm. the kit itself. Yeah. Can you can you tell us a little bit more about what's in the box? Okay. Uh, first thing, you you get the um, his signature um, attack, the specium ray, specium specium. I don't know how you pronounce it, and you get those uh, specium ringlets as well. They're not from the manga, so I'm pretty sure it's from the anime. That also includes the gun as well. Uh, other than that, he gets those uh, specium blades that are. These kind of um, secondary weapons that he uses in the manga as well. And there's also another additional pair of hands. Mm -hmm, yeah. And also the, his, his uh, weapon. Mm -hmm. And also two sheets of uh, stickers. Uh, yeah, the, um, I think you get like warning decals, which is pretty great. I, di I didn't expect you were to get that. And also the sticker sheet, which I didn't use much. Because you painted them over, yeah. yeah. And the ones that I used were basically just uh, for masking tape. Yeah. So Zo, you were actually very lucky because uh, <laughs> in your box you actually missed out the cover for the <laughs> yeah. right hand. So mm -hmm. it's quite rare that Bandai actually loses one part. Uh, but what happened is when Zo actually got his kit, one of the parts actually went missing. Yeah. So, so this is rare. Part. This is rare considering it's Bandai. Their quality control normally is pretty good. So. Like Mike said, I, I won the lottery. Yeah, but all in all, I really like the clear parts that's actually mm -hmm. included mm -hmm. with this kit. You know, there's uh, the uh, Spacium Ring, the Spacium Ray, mm -hmm. and also the, uh, what you call it, the blades mm -hmm. on his arm as yep. well. Overall, very nice clear parts. I think for the price, it's, it's well worth it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Zoe, how's the articulation for this kit since I don't have much experience with uh, figure eyes kits? Okay, I'm gonna be very brutally honest with you. Articulation on this, can I curse? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it, it fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here in your head, like it's basic. Um, you get rotation, but not 360. You're kind of blocked by those things on his cheeks. Nice. Yeah, and the shoulder pauldrons. Yeah, they can move up. Basic movements up there. You can raise it out, the arms. Uh, you can get 360 rotations on the bicep. Um, yeah, see where I'm doing that now. Later, when you move down to the uh, elbow, single jointed, but you do get more than 90 degrees, which is great. Uh, the hands are on a ball joint, so you can do whatever you want with that. And what about the shoulder? Do you get the uh, butterfly shoulders as what we've seen from some of the other mm. very cool looking kits? Surprisingly, you do get a butterfly gimmick on this one. It's not much, but it does help a lot when it comes to posing. Okay, well, what about the uh, the tummy, you know? Do you, can you actually uh, bend the uh, mm. kit forward or backward? You, you can cheat a bit by raising up uh, the ball joint in the uh, that connects between the waist and the stomach. Uh, this is what really bothers me. This is Ultraman, right? Yeah. A character like Ultraman kind of needs that torso articulation to do those dynamic poses. The Iron Man pose. Yeah. And I understand why they didn't put it in there because you need to put the LED gimmick. But I kind of wish that they gave us a bit more articulation in the torso. Yeah. And here in the legs, you can move it forward, you can move it back. 
Okay, now uh, normally most cases you can do a splits. Unfortunately, this one does not, so no Van Dam, unfortunately. And here, when it comes to the uh, knee joint, you get double jointed, but not much. Here in the ankle, you can lift that ankle guard up. The feet are connected by ball joints, so swivel away. So all in all, limited articulation in certain parts area, but mm. uh, overall, it's not that it bad. It's not that bad, right? So also, in the early part of the video, you noticed that Zoe didn't use most of the stickers. Mm -hmm. So Zoe, can you tell us a little bit more how you, you know, repainted your mm. kit? Okay. I wanted my version of the kit to look more to the manga version because that's what I liked and I was not impressed with the Netflix one because if you look at the from from the bottom it looks like he's wearing pants shorts and essentially all those parts that were red I just repainted them back in silver like there on the sh on where the thighs are and a bit on the neck also in the chest section and if you look closely the um, what is it the armpit joints as well So Zo, what is the value of this kit for you? Do you think it's worth the asking price? It's hard to tell because you're paying a master grade price but what you're getting is essentially a high grade with a few extra gimmicks and an LED light, you know. So is this a master grade in a high grade form or...? No, no. If this was master grade and high grade, I would call that a real grade. Okay. So who <laughs> is this for, really? Ah, oh, man. I don't know, maybe for the Ultraman fan or like me, people who are just getting into Ultraman want the modern look for it. Um, like you said in your previous video, the uh, Dimension series version, which is 1-6 scale, right? Yep. And I think this is a good alternative for those who want something cheaper, or cheap, uh, and probably to post something on their, their desk in the office and without being, well, having to look at kind of obnoxiously or something like that. Yep. So, I think this is maybe for them. Um, and also for me, I guess, in some way. Well, I do like how the overall paint finishing, especially the red, mm -hmm. it really, really pops, mm -hmm, yeah. right? But also I noticed that, uh, you know, the stickers that comes with this kit to give you that silver color, it really doesn't look that great. So you do have to paint this kit mm -hmm. if you want to have the mm -hmm. same finishing as what Zoo mm -hmm. has done with mm -hmm. this kit. But all in all, right now in the market, you have actually three options, right? One, of course, is this figure standard 112 scale from mm -hmm. Bandai. Yep. There's also the 16 scale, which is a lot bigger and more expensive from Dimension Models from China. Mm -hmm. And also, there's one more coming up from Kotobukiya. Wait, there's one from Kotobukiya? Yes, Kotobukiya is also releasing the same manga Ultraman on Netflix version. We're oh. not sure because if you look closely to the manga and the Netflix version, you notice that the crotch on this Ultraman, some of it actually is in silver mm -hmm. or red. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure, what do you guys think? Do you guys prefer it to be red or silver? Uh, more red or more silver? I'm with Team Silver. <laughs> so, well, that's our review for today. So if you have to give this kit a score of 1 out of 10, what score would you give this one kit? 1 out of 10, I'll give it a 5. Right there in is the middle. Is that bad? Uh, Not even a seven? No, nah, man. No, nah, okay. man. Okay. Okay. The only thing, the my main negative, I wanted torso articulation because he's ultra man. True. He needs to do all that dynamic True. posing. Okay. So will you be getting the figure standard ultra man ultra seven and also ace when it comes out? I I I definitely I already pre-ordered uh, ultra seven. I'm getting mine at Big Bad Toy Store. And also for those of you in the West. This guy is available at Big Bad Toy Store if you have no uh, hobby shop stores near you. That's an option for you to get. Okay, cool. So and... that, that's a free uh, promo for Big Bad Toy Store. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, maybe they can sponsor us in our next video. But hey, right, thanks, yeah. thanks you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks Zo for your review for this kit. I think yeah. overall build, it mm -hmm. was okay. It was not difficult. Yeah, Value easy. was alright. And yeah. overall score is 5 out of 10. Yeah. Alright. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I know it's a bit long. Thank you. Bye-bye. Please subscribe to our channel if you can. Thanks.